Hey, what's going on? And my name is Chris. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about programming for problem solving. Programming for problem solving. Um, a lot of times I actually assumed that programming was this very cryptic complex thing that I had to spend years figuring out. But honestly, the day I decided to become a programmer was the day I became one. And um, one of the things I learned that is inherently important in pro programming is solving problems. Um, if you have code, um, that is one way of programming. If you're trying to ha cook like some recipe for, you know, for dinner, for example, and you're on um, a website looking at recipes, you may not have all of those items in your house and you might have to go outside to go buy it. You might have to change some of the ingredients in order to actually have the, uh, the, uh, the right ingredients for it to taste the way you wish it to taste, the whatever food you're making. That's almost like programming. Well, it's actually exactly like programming. Programming could be, um, it's a way to solve a problem that is, in, it, that is basically solving a problem that you're actually dealing with at the times, whether it's a problem personally, whether you're trying to move certain files from your hard drive to your computer, if you're trying to update different files on your computer or search for information on your computer, if you're trying to build your blog and you wanted to go ahead and make sure that you can um, access your files from from with out, from outside of your CMS that you might be using, if you're using like WordPress or um, Magento, um, you would have to program your application to run that particular um, uh, 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 to run that particular code. So this is why I um, I'm going back to the term honestly, from program to problem solving. With a program, you usually would be running the code in some sort of uh, uh, in a smaller like application where you would have to build that code. Basically, you, once you actually put the code together, you type it in, in a text editor. Um, you would actually would run it, and then it would try to check to see if it's working. That's like called like compiling. You would compile the code and you would get errors if your code is not right, if something's wrong with it. And then you would have to figure out where those errors are at and then fix it. And with that particular process is really good for the brain because you get immediate feedback on how well you're doing. And then you can keep track of that in something called a uh, version control system, which I'll probably take, I'll focus on in the next video on how to control the information that you're trying to work with. Take care.